children. Welcome to another beautiful Sunday in the presence of God. I love being in the presence of God and I'm sure you do too. So, I remember it was Children's Day last Thursday. I hope you celebrated Children's Day. But well, I know you couldn't really go out because of COVID-19 pandemic, but I hope mom and dad celebrated it with you. So I'm here to say, Happy Children's Day. I love you. So this month, we've been talking about the Holy Spirit. Last week, the topic of our lesson was gifts of the Holy Spirit, where we mentioned that some of the gifts of the Holy Spirit are prophecy, speaking in tongues, words of wisdom, and so on. Today, we'll be talking about symbols of the Holy Spirit. Can you say that with me? Symbols of the Holy Spirit. Good. Before we go into our lesson, let's say a word of prayer. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for another beautiful Sunday to come and learn at your feet. Lord, we ask that as we start today's lesson, that you please start with us. Let your presence be with us. Teach us your words ourselves. Plant your words in our hearts and make us good boys and girls. For we ask in Jesus' name. And now it's time to put on our dancing shoes and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Children of God, come and make a noise wherever you are. Hallelujah, 
really well, even better than I did. I trust you. So now, let's get to our lesson for today. Before the praise and worship, I mentioned that the title of our lesson is Symbols of the Holy Spirit. Hmm, I'm sure you're wondering what the meaning of the word symbol is. Let me explain it to you. A symbol is a mark, a sign, or an object that represents an idea. Let me give you an example. Can you see what this is? This is a construction helmet. It is worn by construction engineers. So whenever you see anybody putting on this kind of helmet, you know the person is a construction engineer. Am I right? Good. Now let's give you, let me give you another example. 
Can you tell me what this is? This is a stethoscope. Can you say it with me? A stethoscope. Do you know who uses a stethoscope? Doctors, you are right. So now Chiamaka is putting on a stethoscope and she looks like a doctor. So whenever you see a stethoscope, you know that that is a symbol for a doctor. Am I right? Good. So in the same way, we have symbols that represent the Holy Spirit. Today, I'll be mentioning five symbols of the Holy Spirit. I'll say that again. We'll be mentioning five symbols of the Holy Spirit. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. So the first one I'll mention is the symbol of fire, the symbol of water, the symbol of wind, the symbol of dove, and the symbol of the oil. So now, let's take the first symbol, the symbol of the fire. Did you know that fire is used to make precious stones and metals like gold and diamond? I'm sure you didn't know, but now you know. In the same way, this helps us to remember that the fire of the Holy Spirit helps us make beautiful things out of our lives. Let's go to the symbol of wind. I'm sure none of you see where the wind comes from or where it blows to. We only hear a whooshing sound and we can feel the wind and we know that the wind is strong and powerful. This helps us to remember that the presence of the Holy Spirit is very strong and very powerful. The symbol of water. Just like we use water to wash our clothes and take our bath, it helps us to remember that the Holy Spirit cleanses us and takes away every bad things and dirty behaviors from our lives. The symbol of the dove. Now we know that the dove is a very gentle bird. This will help us to remember that the Holy Spirit is very gentle and not mean at all. The symbol of the oil. The Holy Spirit anoints us. And this gives us boldness to be able to do the things that we never thought we could do. Just like when the Holy Spirit anointed the apostles back then, and they were able to go out to talk about Jesus, they were able to go out to do things that they were never able to do, the Holy Spirit gives us the boldness to be able to do things we never thought we could do before. You can start boldly in front of your class and be able to say whatever the teacher wants you to say, the Holy Spirit gives us boldness to do all these things. So we all need the Holy Spirit in our lives to make beautiful things out of our lives and to help us live daily. Whether you're at home, at school, on the playground, even on vacation, we all need the Holy Spirit to guide us, to cleanse us, and help us do everything we have to do. If you haven't asked for the Holy Spirit, let's bow our head and say a prayer. Put your hands together and close your eyes. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for letting us learn about the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you come and fill us with this Holy Spirit and let it make beautiful things out of our lives. Let it give us boldness and let it help us to live well as good boys and girls. We thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now it's time for our memory verse. Are you ready for the memory verse? Good. Our memory verse is going to be taken from 1 John 5, 7. And I'll take it in a song format. Sing with me. For there are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. Sing along with me. For there are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. First John 5, 7. I'm sure you learned the memory verse with Chiamaka. I hope you sang along too. Very good. Now it's craft time. So because we talked about five symbols of the Holy Spirit, 
I want you to tell mommy or daddy to print out any of the pictures of the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Then you can take your coloring pencils or your crayon and paint them. Take a picture of the symbol of the Holy Spirit that you have painted with your coloring pen or your crayon and send it to the email on the screen. Good. We'll be waiting for your answers. Until next time, have a blessed week. Bye for now.